Let's uh, make this picture move in Flash. So what we'll do is we'll begin by drawing some nice uh, spaceship. And uh, we're going to try to make this a move. So let's begin by highlighting this. And we're going to right click on the actual colored part. We're going to convert to a symbol. So everything in Flash is either a movie clip, a button, or a graphic symbol. Movie clips are things that can animate, buttons are things you press, and graphics are like pictures. Keep in mind that um, movie clips can be treated as buttons as well if you want a fancy animation that you can click on. So for the sake of simplicity, we're just going to click on OK, although really we could rename that. So I'm clicking on OK. You can see that there's this uh, instance name <coughs> field in the properties, and I'm going to call this ship, S-H-I-P, and this is uh, a movie clip. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw, click and hold this little shape tool, and choose the oval tool, and let me uh, create a new layer here. I'll double click, I'll call this layer ship. It's generally a good idea to have things on different layers. Gonna click on new layer and let's drag it down. Let's call this uh, button. So I'm gonna create a button layer and let's make the button different color. Let's just make it uh, green. And so when I press this button, let's let's use a selection tool or right click and create convert to symbol and let's make it into a button and just click on OK. So I want to make this, uh, I'll call this uh, button 1. Let's go back to the ship for a sec. I'm just going to call this movie 1 for the sake of simplicity. So this is button 1, the instance name, and this is uh, movie 1. How do you actually control and make your uh, animations interactive? So let's create a new layer called code. We could have all done this on the same layer, but it's, I'm just going to get into a good habit here of separating my uh, parts code. Click on frame 1, and then go to Window Actions, or F9. And I want to actually make this interactive. So I'm going to say uh, button 1 dot add event listener. Um, and I'm going to listen to a mouse event dot click. So in the case that I actually click the mouse, um, I want to um, do something. Uh, I'll call function AAA. Semicolon means the end of the line or the end of the statement. So I'm going to create a function here. Function AAA. There's just some random named function. You can call it something more descriptive if you wish. Bracket. And just for now, um, For now, just uh, uh, type in the variable e, and then we're going to say mouse event. It means that uh, the function is going to accept the event from the uh, uh, the click here. And uh, just for now, I'll just copy that. We'll worry about all this uh, more complicated coding in the future. So what we have here is, uh, in the case that this button is actually clicked, it's going to call this function AAA, which means that it's going to jump here inside these brackets. These brackets, uh, curly braces, represents beginning and end. What are we going to do? We're going to actually, uh, let's get the tab in here, by the way. <clears throat> We're going to say movie1.x equals movie1.x plus 10, semicolon. So what's happening here is the movie's um, x position is going to increase by 10 pixels. So say the movie is here, um, the, the location here in the top left corner is considered 00, zero. here is 100, 200, some people's monitors are 1024 by 768. So this is position 00, zero x, y coordinates. So the x position is going to increase by 10, and the new value, which is bigger by 10, gets assigned into the uh, uh, left hand side so basically essentially we're, ch we're increasing the exposition by 10 every time we click and by the way there's other events as well such as double click such as <clears throat> such as uh, 
uh, using the middle mouse uh, wheel and, and all, the, all these other types of events. But for now, let's uh, test it out and see if we got this working. So I'm going to click the little X button here and control enter is run our movie and let's see if this works. I'm going to click, click, click. You can see that every time I click, 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 uh, we have successfully controlled our uh, movie clip and we're well on our way to making more interactive codes and games. Congratulations.